We are coming to you live from Steeltown, Pennsylvania at the sold-out Three Mile Island Stadium. There's nothing quite like playing in the scenic toxic nuclear waste dump. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Leland Burns take on the Blitzburg Steelheads. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hello again, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me! And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Third down and ten. unit you know punters really do know how to party bricks yeah oh yeah i have pictures that uh that, well maybe I actually shouldn't discuss this on here and it sails out of the end zone for a touchback the offense will get it on the 20 and it's first and ten hard first down and it's first and ten three yard catch on the play every little bit counts those three yarders might grow up to be somebody one day second down and seven Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Pass play nets them seven yards. Oh no, I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get rid of them again? You stick it in a plastic bag, say the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. That ought to stop them. scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow.
Second down and nine. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Third down and nine. Way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. So much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. The defenders want to be just kicked in. He's so fast, he could run the kick off for a touchdown before the ball was even kicked. Second down in a very lot. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Oh, I love this dirty trick. V5 devastating hit knocks the ball loose. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Graham. Oh, boy. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Hey, yeah, uh, Briggs, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. Second defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> First down and three. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. He's got his beast boost working and he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Three-yard pickup. Second down and seven. And he gets. 
gets three yards on that run. Third and four. foot into that one. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Put returners, in. oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. And that is caught for a first down. First and ten. Great run for a nine yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. so hard I went into a dark tunnel thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the line turns out it was just the visitors tunnel that he knocked me into and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face and it's first and ten hot, hot one hot two hot eight. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor second and three And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Third down and six. point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. How do you like your defense is cooked? The ball carrier. When the defense calls thunder, cuts the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me. You ever hear that zapper song? Watch out where the Huskies go. Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches? Eh, they didn't taste so good. First and ten. And they call it ginormous dirty trick. He's so big that the last. That's a killer. It was right there and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. They run it for a yard. Oh. 
third down and nine. and he picks up a new set of downs. First down and seven. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! And big deal. Missed a beat for Brady Graham with a ball and didn't fall down. <laughs> Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. That's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made into dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and the bomb goes off, hurting no one. Yeah, if a bomb don't kill anyone, does it still make a sound? Second down and ten. gain on that one. Like when Brix's mom decided to move back in with us. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. Third and two. but sometimes the defense thinks they're helping out in their own special way. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Nice punt! Should move him back. And he snags the punt and look... Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. First and ten. Oh, with a punishing hit. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Yeah, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. Yeah, timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. And he picks up four on that pass and catch. Second down and six. with the brain scrambler. And that'll bring up third and one. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Now this one's gonna be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay, I think. Not my type, though. A little too mute. It looked like the QB's fault. If he held the ball spikes out like it was supposed to, the kicker would have never missed. And it's first and ten. Oh, look at this guy break. Ten up two yards on the pass. And this guy's six feet tall. He could just have fallen. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for.
It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, I'm going to go to a strip tease show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Uh, Just pet your rabbit. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Second down and six. Third down and the punter is warming up. This guy's gonna get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns. Let's see if he beats... Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. First and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. game picking up some steam a gain of seven there second and three hot, hot one hot two hot, hot, hot. and that's how you run the football first down and it's first and ten Put on a display there. Touchdown. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Uh, is the game over yet? I gotta go to the vet to have him reattach my big toe to where my tongue was again. It just fell off for the third time today. I was barely even chewing on it. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. I don't remember. 
member calling 911, but the SWAT team is out in full force at the line of scrimmage. Nice play by the linemen. Second down and 10. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and 10. Second down and two. Third down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two. Drills one in for the first down. First down and six. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stomped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. Second and three. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Now, these penalties have really gotten out of hand. Especially since they're fake. Go to dirty tricks and hit the tag ref. It feels good. Second down in a lot. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. One, hot two. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my offseason. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. I'm pretty sure my baby sister can throw further than that, but she doesn't have to play against goddamn monsters. This is going to be a long kick. Let's see if he can make it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. With a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Caught for the first down. to make this one interesting. Second down and five. Not, not one. Third down and nine. Not, not one, not two, not, 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 not. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. And he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. You ever get hit in the 
the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. It's good. team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> that was equal parts great run and bad defense. First and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. First down and nine. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second down and two. And that player just transformed into a giant. Good luck blocking this guy. <laughs> and he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. <laughs> well, this shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. way to keep the chains moving that was beautiful and it's first and ten and the defense just called the ginormous dirty trick oh and he fumbles the ball on that hit when you hurdle and get hit chances for a fumble increase and he's off to the races he's at the 40 the 30 he's at the 20 He's at the 10! He scores! point attempt it goes right through yeah like a double stuff burrito from taco hell they need a good return here to set up the offense they're gonna be able to return this one First and ten. If 
there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He can have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Second down and five. Much like my wedding night, there was a big explosion and then everyone left disappointed. What do you mean everyone? Third down and five. And that is caught for a first down. Two minutes left in the game. Hang on. And it's first and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Wow! The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver, knocking the first down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And it's first and ten. Fuego. Does he like his original or extra crispy? <laughs> By the look of it, extra crispy. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Zips that one in there for a touchdown. Hey, man, you see that? That's right. You can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving a point. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Go man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. And we are all tied up and we're going to overtime. 
Go ahead and cancel that quality time with the family and continue to stream it to television. This is going to be great. Breaks overtime is a war with some basic rules. The first touchdown wins the game, but if the team that receives the kickoff gets a field goal, then the other team is allowed a possession too. After that, whomever scores wins. Ah, uh, Grandma, I didn't understand any of that. Can you repeat it? Not a chance. And it's first and ten. First and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. What is this, 80s wrestling? Third and two. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Second down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut and you'll tire these guys. First and four. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's warming down this guy to the speed feed grip. He's running from his team, it's clear. <laughs> the Steelheads are losers today. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. Yo, man, nobody can touch the fireball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not.